video conferencing is the new normal. The popular app Zoom says its numbers of users has ballooned from about 10 million to hundreds of millions. But the FBI is warning about reports of people intruding on calls with pornographic or hate images. Our consumer investigative correspondent Anna Werner, Werner spoke with Zoom's CEO. Anna, what's going on? That's right, Anthony, attackers with other agendas, they've discovered Zoom too. As one Long Island mother found out earlier this month, she asked us not to use her last name or the name of her daughter's school because she said they now fear more online attacks. Mom Michelle says her 14-year-old daughter was online in a class for her private modern Orthodox girls high school when some boys Zoom bombed it. First, the screens were completely black and they were saying all these anti-Semitic things, cursing them out, saying you effing Jews, etc. cetera. Um, and then one boy suddenly stripped and was naked. She says her daughter was upset. She was very embarrassed by it, and she just said, I, I can't talk about it. Well, the internet brings out base instincts in people. It's true of every new platform. Wired editor and CBS News contributor Nick Thompson says hackers are taking advantage of the millions of new Zoom users. They don't know the privacy settings. They don't know how to secure it. And so suddenly they're vulnerable to monsters who want to interrupt and insult them. Zoom founder and CEO Eric Yuen says his company wasn't prepared for the influx of novice users. I think this is a mistake. And lesson learned. He says businesses using Zoom typically require employees to use passwords, something first-time users often don't do. So this is something new to quite often those are also first-time Zoom users as well. Is it fair though to blame the users? Doesn't the company have a responsibility to protect them on the front end, you know, given that you guys are the experts on your own system? Absolutely right. I think that's why I say we did not do a good job. When we offer the free service, we should have a training session. We should enable the password. Looking back, we should have done that. Absolutely, this is our oversight. But tell that to Donnell Williams, who heads the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. It's not, it's not right. He had over 200 people in a Zoom conference meeting yesterday when someone hacked in and drew a picture of male genitalia on the screen, then started making racist comments. And then the slurs. I mean, using the N-word, I mean, in front of all of my attendees who are respected people in our community. I think there's going to be a brand hit for Zoom without a doubt. People are going to have a few negative connotations about Zoom bombs and privacy failures for a long time with this company. On the other hand, Thompson says, most people still want the service, including the people we interviewed on Zoom for this story. I don't blame Zoom one bit. This was a bad experience for these children, and hopefully it won't happen again, for sure. Zoom CEO told us he is taking steps to address what he calls these unforeseen issues. Passwords have now been put in place by default for everyone and for the K through 12 schools, so many thousands of whom are now using Zoom, they'll use something called the waiting room. You can use that too, basically allows you to see who is joining prior to the call and restrict access. And you can change that, Anthony, in your settings. Yeah, as you point out, Anna, so many people using it. We do it for interviews, my wife for conferences, my son for classes. It's everywhere all of a sudden.